اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اینڈ ویلکم ٹو اور منڈیز کلاس I hope that you are doing all well. And just a quick reminder about our etiquettes. Make sure you've done your wazoo, your head is covered, and you are sitting in a quiet place without any background noise. So let's move on to our agenda today. Today is, um, alhamdulillah, our class number 46. And inshallah, we will be um, shortly doing our opening dua. After that, we will be... Um, doing the correct tilawat rules of surah fatiha and today we will be co- covering the verse 7 inshallah after that at 6:20 we will be um practicing our hard words <clears throat> following that uh, we will inshallah start our nura a new surah and this surah is chapter 84 or part 84 um and we will be starting from the beginning inshallah and at um, around 6:55 we will be summarizing and consolidating our today's lesson after that we will be um, um i will be talking about our homework and after um that we will be doing our final dua inshallah okay um let's start out with our opening prayer and if i could have a student to up to the mic please assalamu alaikum g2122 2138 G2138 please unmute yourself G2217 Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Are you G2217? Yes. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm very well. Alhamdulillah. And jazakumullah for asking. Let's start with ta'awuz and tasmiya. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. ربش رحلي صدري صدري ويسر لي ويسر لي امري امري very nicely read do you think you can read um the translation here just yes okay lord expand my mind and It's easy for me. Taha 26 to 27. Very nice. So do you know what this means? Taha 26 yeah. to 27. It's Surah Taha verse 26 to 27. Very nice. Well done. And Jazakumullah G2217. Allah Hafiz. Jazakallah Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay. Um, if you could bear with me one second. I need to share my screen. Um can you see my screen now? Yep. Okay, great. Um if um I will be we will be now doing Surah Al-Fatiha verse 7 and I will be um, explaining the rules and then we can go ahead and um uh, try and practice it inshallah. Right. So, um Surah Fatiha and read the holy quran with the utmost utmost attention and deepest thought 
you should love it as you have never loved anything else. So this is Kashti Nu, nu and page 20, which is uh, a book of the promised Messiah, alayhi salam. Kashti Nu is a book of the pro promised Messiah, alayhi salam, and this part, this excerpt, is taken from um, that book. Okay, so today we will be um, covering verse 7, which is from here to here, and we will be finishing uh, Surah Al-Fatiha, inshallah. Let's see what the first rule is. So, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Um, the first rule is the sword here. It is a thick sounding letter. Okay, so we will be uh, pronouncing it a bit thickly. After that, our next rule is, if you could guess at home and see if you got it right, it's Alif Mad, and we will be pronouncing it for two seconds only, um, not any more or any less. So um, before, uh, after the Ra, there is an Alif, and um, we will be pronouncing it, um, for, uh, we will be prolonging it for two seconds. If you could bear with me just one second. Um, support teacher, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. Uh, can uh, you see you can complete put it on slideshow? Sorry? You can put it on slideshow and then it will come up on the full screen. Okay, so you can't see the um, see the full screen. Okay. Um, Can you see it now? Yes, I can see it now. Um, it's, it's on slide, is it full screen now? Yes, it is. Okay, Jazakallah. Um, I'm really sorry about the interruption. Um, so the next rule is the ta here. So if you are at home, you could probably guess that it's a heavy and thick sounding letter and it will be pronounced with your mouth rounded a bit. Now, the next rule is the mushaddad lam, which joins to the previous ta, and we will be ignoring any letters in between which do not have any stroke. Right, and the next rule in this verse is the ya mad. So this means. Here, the ya is a sukun letter. It has, it has a sukun sign on it, and it will be prolonged for two seconds and not any longer or any shorter. Right. The next rule is the alif. And we will pronounce it as an alif, not as an ayn, not to mistake it as an ayn and um, pronounce it from, your, uh, from the middle of your throat. Okay, and the next rule is the noon sakin, which is followed by an ayn letter, which is a throat letter. So we will not, um, we will have a clear sound. Okay, we will have a clear sound of the noon he. It will, there will not be an, um, any idram or something. Right. Here we have the ayn. It will be pronounced from the middle of your throat. Ayn. and not as an alif. Okay, and here we have a meme. We don't, do not stay on the meme. We don't, do not sit on an e on, on this one. Um, we will just read it as a normal meme, as a sukoon meme. And here we have ayn again, and we will read it from the middle of our throat. And not to pronounce as an alif as well. Here we have Yalin, so it will be prolonged for two seconds and only for, for two seconds. Right. 
Okay, here, we are allowed to pause. So if, um, if you want to pause here, you can do that in this part. Right, so this, because if you want to pause here, there is already a sukoon sign on the meme, so it, say, it stays the same at the pause. Okay, so let's do the reading practice. If I could have a student to the mic, please. G2148, please unmute yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, G2148. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm very well, alhamdulillah. Um, Jazakum Allah for asking. Okay, um, let's start with thousand tasmiya. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ir-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Okay. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ir-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I will be reading and you can follow me. Sirat al-ladhina an'amta alayhim. Sirat al-mustaqim. Sirat al-ladhina. Okay, let's start from here again, from the beginning. Okay. Sirat al-ladhina an'amta alayhim. Sirat al-ladhina an'amta alayhim. Very nicely read. Okay. Ghayri al-maghdubi alayhim waladdallin. Okay. Khair al mahvubi alayhim wa zalim. Very nice. Jazakumullah. We actually haven't covered this bit. We will cover um, the rules of this bit in a minute. Um, actually, before that, uh, I would like to ask you a few rules of the first part of the verse. Uh, do you know what kind of letter this is? Sod. Sod. Do you know what kind of letter it is? How would you read it? Sui. Sui. Very nice. So this is how you pronounce it. It's a thick letter. You will read it with your mouth rounded a bit. Similarly, do you know what kind of letter this is? Ta. Ta. And it is a? Thick letter. Thick letter. Well done. Okay. Um, <coughs> This part, we would prolong it for two seconds. Do you know why? Because there is a ya in the middle. There is a ya, exactly. And it's a ya mad. Because it carries a... Yeah. It carries a sakun sign and the letter pre um, uh, uh, preceding it, the letter before it, has a kasra. Okay, so we will be uh, prolonging it for two seconds. Very nice. Now, this letter here, do you know how to pronounce it? Yes. Ein. Ein. Very nice. From the middle of your throat. Very nice. Um, okay. Uh, this part here, uh, would you read it for two seconds or one second? Prolong it. Sorry? Two seconds. Two seconds. Very nice. And the rule uh, for that is um, it's ya lean. So um, the ya carries a um, sakun sign and the letter preceding it has a fata. Very nice. Jazakum la ji to you one for eight. Allah hafiz. Hafiz. Okay. Now I'm going to um, uh, do the rules for the next part of the verse. This is a ghain, 
and roin is a thick letter and it will have a heavy sound, a thick heavy sound. The next rule is a yalin. We just had yalin in the first part and it will be prolonged for two seconds. Here we have lam sakin means lam carries a sukun sign and the letter before the most recent vowel letter meaning the letter before which has a stroke is ra uh, we will join ra uh, ra to the lam and we will ignore the alif because it doesn't have any stroke on it right and with this one, we will try not to do a bouncing sound or a jerking sound with the rain here. Right, so this is dod, and this is also a thick letter. We will try to read it with our, um, with our um, mouth rounded a bit. Curl your tongue to touch all along the join of upper teeth and gums. So it can, can be read, read as dod or zod. The next rule is wow mud. So wow carries a mud, um, a, um, a sakun and it will be prolonged for two seconds. Right, this is ein and it will be read from the middle of your throat. Now try not to write, uh, read it as an alif. Okay, so here we have Mushaddid Dod. And it will join the most recent vowel letter, which is Lam here. Okay, and we will ignore the alif, this, this alif and this alif because they both do not carry any strokes, any alif, any, um, any sorry, any fatazama or kasra. So we will um, join it with, um, with the lam here. Okay. So we have a mushaddad lam here again. And it joins to the most recent vowel letter, which will be the dod. So lam joins to the most recent vowel letter, which will be the dod here. But we must read the mad here. This is a mad kabir. Okay, so we can't ignore that. We have to read the Madhya Kabir, which will be prolonged for about six seconds. So um, we can stretch this mud for about four to six seconds, and then we can join on to the lam here, and this is uh, known as the compulsory mud or Madhya Lazim. Okay. Okay, so you have to make sure that the lam sound at the end of the mud, you have to press on the lam. So you have to make sure you can hear the pressing on the lam. So you will you would read the dod, you will prolong it for as long as we prolong the madhya kabir for, for about four to six seconds, and then join on to the lam and pressing it on the lam. So make sh making sure that um, it is joined with the mud, with the um, with the mushaddad, with the tashdeed here. Right. So the next after that, this is a yamad here, and it will be prolonged for two seconds. Usually it will be prolonged for two seconds, but here we have a work. Um, and just here we have a pause on the noon, which is a vakf, and the fata becomes a sakun sign. Lots of rules on this part. 
Um, and as I said, this the ya mat, mat is usually prolonged for two seconds, but when there is a sukoon, um, uh, straight after it, then it can, can be prolonged for um, about four seconds or six seconds. So it can be prolonged for two, four or six seconds. Okay. And not to forget that we have to say Amin after we um, finish this chapter. Right, let's practice this part then. If I could have a student to the mic, please. G two two one two, please unmute yourself. G2213, please unmute yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, G2213. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm very well, alhamdulillah. And jazakumullah for asking. Um, let's start with Tawz and Tasmiya. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Okay. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Okay, um, let's start reading from here. Amin. <laughs> Very nice. So um, try to um, prolong the door for a bit longer um, here because we have a Madhya Kabir and you did right to, to press on the lam a bit. Um, if, if you could press a bit more. Very nice, very nice. And um, if you could tell me what kind of letter the Rhine is here. Is it a letter of the throat? It is letter of the throat and? Is it a thick letter? It's a thick letter, very nice. Um, how would you pronounce this letter? Uh, from the middle of the throat. From the middle of the throat, exactly. I, ein. Okay. Uh, now, um, how long would you read this let this um, part for? Two seconds. Okay, two seconds. Very nice. Because um, the rule for that is it's yalin. It is a sukun. Um, it carries a sukun, and preceding it there is a um, fatah. The letter carries a fatah. Very nice. I am very pleased. Jazakumullah G2213. Allah Hafiz. Okay, if you could bear with me again, I will just change my screen. Okay. Right, we will be practicing our hard words now. Okay, if I could have a student to the mic, please. Um, could I have a student to the mic, please? Okay, just bear with me one second. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Uh, sorry, I think my net disconnected. Uh, G2219, please unmute yourself. Assalamu alaikum, G2219. 
Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm very well and jazakumullah for asking. Okay. Let's start with thousand tasmiya. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Awa mai yunashau. Awa nai yunashau. Very nicely read. Um, let's repeat it again. Awa mai yunashau. Awa mai yunashau. Very nice. Let's carry on to the next word. Mirasu samawati. Mai. Mi. Mi. Rusul. Ru. You can split it up. You can split it up. Um, read this part first, and then you can carry on with the next part. Mai. Susamawati. Okay, very nice. Could you read this part again for me, please? Mi ro ro mira. Very nice. Mi ro, and there Mi. there is an alif madhe. We will be prolonging the ro for two seconds. Mi ro susamavati. Very nicely read. Um, remember that sahe is a very soft sounding letter. So when you read it, you will be touching your tongue to your upper tooth. So thu thu thu. Very nice. And there is a distinguish between um this this thu and the seen here. Okay, so this is su and this is sa. Okay, right. And we have um, a rule we could cover. We will be covering here is um, we have um, a vertical fatahe, which will be we will we are prolonging it for two seconds. And um, on top of the wa, we have a vertical fatah, uh, and this is prolonged for two seconds as well. Okay, let's carry on to the next um, difficult word. Uji bada watu kume. Uji bada bad bada watu kume. Very nice. Um, so um, make sure to uh, read this ain with your uh, with the back of your throat, okay, and not to make a Jerk when you're reading it, but da, but da, but da. Okay, that's better. So uh, the, uh, we won't be doing any jerk uh, with the ein, uh, but we will be reading it with our throat. That was very nicely read. And just to cover one rule here, is we have a ya madhe, and um, it will be prolonged for two seconds. And this rule is. Um, because we have a mushaddad letter that's just after a sakun letter, we will be ignoring the sakun um, letter here and the bar will be joined on directly to the mushaddad letter. Okay, so badda, badda. So we won't be reading the ta here because um, after that, straight after that, there is a badda. Exactly, that's it. Very nicely read G G2219. Jazakumullah, can my sister have a turn? Okay, um, what's the ID of your sister? G2220. G2220. <coughs> yes, of course. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Aslam. How are you today? Good. Alhamdulillah. How are you? I'm very well, alhamdulillah. And Jazakumullah for asking. Let's start with thousand tasmiya. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir 
الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay, let's um, try the first hard letter. Awa mayuna sha'u Awa mayu nusha'u Nasha'u Nasha'u Very nice. So um, this the rule here is we will be reading the Hamza. Um, it just it sits on the vowel, but um, we will be reading the Hamza here, uh, not the vowel. Um, and let's try to read it again. Awa mayuna sha'u. Awa mayu. Very nice. Okay, um, let's try the next hard word. Mirosu samawati. Mirosu samawati. Very nice. Um, again, with the tha, this will be pronounced very softly. Tha, and the scene here. Will be um it you will be reading it by pressing um your tongue a bit so you can hear the s, s okay so um we have to distinguish between this tha and this uh. um okay let's try the next word uji bada watu kume uji bada Tukuma Watukuma Watukuma Very nice. And remember to, to um, pronounce the ain from the middle of your throat. Okay. Very nicely read G2220. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay. So uh, we will be carrying on with our new surah today. Um, and um, let me just tell you about a bit, remind you a bit um, about the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran has 30 parts um, wow. and it has 114 chapters. And the total number of verses are 6,348 and it has uh, 558 rukus. And our today's surah, which is Surah al inshiqaq um, is um, is in part 30 and it's chapter 30 uh, 84 um, surah al inshiqaq is chapter 84 and the total number of verses are 26 it has one ruku and um, a bit about the surah it was uh, revealed in makkah it has one prostration uh, and it's in um, uh, verse 22 and order of revelation is 83 so just about uh, the prostration let me uh, quickly pull up the prayer for um, of the love at prostration okay so when when you will be um, reciting um, surah al inshiqaq and you are at verse 22 where there is a prostration of the uh, the uh, of the lavat then um, you can uh, read this prayer uh, when you're doing the prostration and this can be read after the tasbih um, and let me just uh, read it out to you a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim Allahumma laka sajad sajad tu sajad tu wa bika amantu wa laka aslam tu wa anta rabbi Its translation is O oh Allah to you I have prostrated in you I have believed to you I have submitted and you are my lord Okay so it's in verse 22 in surah al shikak and um, and um, where a prostration of recitation should be offered on its reading or listening. It is not obligatory, but it was the sunnah of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it is better to follow the sunnah of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
um, and um, there are several, several prayers uh, mentioned in a hadith of the Holy Prophet وسلم, in terms of prostration of the lavat, which are offered after the B during the prostration, and the above is the one of them. Okay, so um, let me show you where on in Surah Al Inshikak the sajda is, the prostration is. It's here on verse 22. And it says on the side, al-sajda, which means prostration. Right. Um, let's start with our um, surah today. If I could have a student to the mic, please. G2177, please unmute yourself. G2191, please. G2192, please unmute yourself. Hello? Asalaamu Alaikum, G2192. No, I'm G2177. Okay. Asalaamu Alaikum, G2177. Welcome, Salam. How are you today? I'm fine, how are you? I'm very well, alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Um, let's start with Ta'awuz and Tasmiya. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Okay, um, I will be reciting this verse and then you can follow me and um, we, we can go through a few rules. Either Sama Shakot is a is a Sama Shakot. Very nice. So, um, how long um, would you prolong this mud for five seconds? Yes, you can prolong it for five seconds. So the rule states you can prolong it between four to six seconds. So five seconds is correct. Very nice. Um, and um, here we have waqf. And with the waqf, um, we normally change it to, if there is a fatah kasra zama, we would change it to a waqf, uh, to a sakun sign. But because there is already a sakun sign, we will just leave it like that. Very nice. Um, let's have a go again. And then um, we can... Uh, carry on to the next verse. Either Sama Unshakot Isa Sama Unshakot. Very nice. Um, one more thing. Kof, hey. What kind of letter is it? Kof. Do you know what kind of letter it is? Sakun. It's a thick letter. So we would be um, reading it with our mouth rounded a bit. Oh, off. Okay, and it will be read from your from the middle of your throat. And uh, it will be um, it will be a heavy, heavy, there will be a heavy sound for this one. Okay. And this dal here, it's a it will be pronounced very softly. Um, again, with your um, the, your Tongue touching your upper teeth. Um, dal, dal. Okay, Jazakumullah, G2177. And Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, if I could have another string to the mic, please. G2192, please unmute yourself. G2192. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. G2192. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Let's start with Thousand Tasmiya. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Very nice. Um, 
we will be reading this verse and then we can go through a few rules in it. Um, Wa'adhinatli rabbiha wa huqqat. Wa'adhinatli rabbiha wa huqqat. Very nicely read. Um, do you know how to pronounce this letter here? The. The. Very nicely um, pronounced. And I could hear the softness, um, the soft sound. Very nice. Okay. Um, this letter, what kind of letter is it? How will you pronounce it? Ra. Ra. Very nice. So it will be uh, pronounced uh, with your mouth rounded a bit as well. Okay, and this letter, from which part of your throat will you read uh, it? Middle of the throat. Very nice. Ha, ha. Okay, and what kind of letter is this? Um, the middle of the throat, maybe? Yeah. Um, it will be pronounced from the middle of thro your throat and it's a thick letter. It has a heavy sound. Um, it will be uh, read with your mouth rounded a bit again. Um, off, off. Off. And we prolonged this bit for two seconds. Do you know why? Because um, when there's a fata before an alif, you pronounce it for two seconds. Very nice. So it's an alif mad here. Very nice. Um, you um, said the right thing. Um, you said the right rule. Um, Jazakumullah G2192. La Hafiz. La Hafiz. Okay. Um, if I could have another student to the mic for the next verse, please. G2202, please unmute yourself. Assalamu alaikum. G2202. G2108, please unmute yourself. Assalamualaikum. Salam. G2108, how are you today? I'm, do I'm, I'm doing good. Alhamdulillah. Um, let's start with thousand tasmiya. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Okay. Um, again, we will be um, reading this verse and then we will. Um, be talking about um, some rules in this verse. Wa idal ardu muddat. Wa idal. Yeah. Wa idal. Wa idal ardu. 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 Muddat. 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 Very nice. So, um, do you know how to pronounce this um, letter here? I can't see your thing. Oh, you cannot see. Let me highlight it. Let me see if I can highlight it. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay. So do you know how I can um, pronounce this letter here? No. So it's, you pronounce it correctly though, when you read it. So um, you pronounce this letter very softly. The, the. What is the? Yes, very nice. So I can hear the softness. Very nice. Um, do you know what kind of letter this is? Yes. What kind of letter is it? 
Dod. Dod, very nice. And um, you pronounced it very correctly. It's a thick letter. It's, um, it's a heavy letter. It will be pronounced with your mouth rounded a bit. I could hear it in you, um, in you um, sounding out. It was pro uh, um, pronounced correctly. Very nicely read. Um, Jazakumullah G2108. Allah Hafiz. 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 If I could have another string to the mic, please. A two one one zero, please unmute yourself. G two one one zero. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. G two one one zero. How are you today? Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm very well. And Jazakallah for asking. Let's start with thousand tasnima. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir Very nice. Um, again, we will be reading this, we're reciting this verse, and then we can go um, through a few rules. Wa al ma fiha wa tahallat. Wa al ma fiha wa tahallat. Very nicely read. I could hear the two seconds prolongation here and the two seconds prolongation here and here, which was very nice. Okay, let's go through a few rules and about um, a bit of about pronunciation of some of the words, um, letters. What kind of letter is this? One second. So, how would you pronounce this this letter here? Ta. Ko. So, um, this ko here, it's a thick letter. You will be pronouncing it with your mouth rounded a bit, and it will be pronounced from your mid from the middle of your throat. Okay. So, ko is a thick letter. Okay. Do you want to try and pronounce it? Ko. Or. Yes, and wa al qat. Wa al qat. Wa al. Wa al. Wa al. Ah. Qat. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Um, and this letter is another thick sounding letter, okay? And you will be reading it with your mouth rounded a bit. Ho. 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 Very nice. Okay. So, um, with this ha he, um, how long would you read it for? Two seconds. Okay, why is that? Because it's a, a leaf mud. <laughs> very nice. Yes, very correctly um, said. Um, that was it. Jazakumullah G2110. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, if I could have another string to the mic, please. G2129, please unmute yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum G2129. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, alhamdulillah. How are you? 
Alhamdulillah. Um, let's start with Ta'awuz and Tasmiya. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. A'udhu Billahi Shaitanir Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Okay. Um, I will be reading this verse and you can follow me and then we can go through a few rules. وَأَذِنَتْ لِرَبِّهَا وَحُقَّتْ وَأَذِنَتْ لِرَبِّهَا وَحُقَّتْ حُقَّتْ حُقَّتْ Very nice. So I could, I could hear that you prolonged this letter for two seconds, which was nicely done. And I'm going through a few rules in this verse. Um, why, um, what kind of letter is this? How would you read it? A thick work letter. It's, it's, it's a thick letter. We would be reading it um, with our mouth rounded a bit when there is a patta, very nice. And what kind of letter is this? A short letter. Sorry, could you say that again? A throat letter. A throat letter. Very nice. And um, it's a thick letter as well. So it will be read from your throat and it will. it's a thick letter. So um, you will be reading it with your mouth rounded. Qaf. It's a qaf. So um, you will be reading hukqat. Um, yes. And this letter here, from which part of your throat will you be reading it? Um, from the middle of your throat. Very nice. Um, Jazakumullah G2129. Allah Hafiz. Jazakumullah. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay. Um, if I could have another student to the mic, please. G2131, please unmute yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, G2131. How are you today? Alhamdulillah, I'm very good. How are you? I'm very well, alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Let's start with thousand tasmiya. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Okay, um, again with this verse, I will be recite, reciting it. You can follow me and we will be going through a few rules. Okay. Yeah, ayyuhal insanu inna ka kadihun ila rabbika kadihan famulaqi. Yeah, ayyuhal Insanu inna ka kadi'an ila rabbika ka kadi'an hauf mulaqai. Very nicely read. I'm very pleased. Just um, a reminder that this is a ha. It looks a bit like an ayn, um, uh, but it's a ha. So the hun. Kadihun. Very nicely read. Um, okay, um, let's go through a few rules. Uh, so this is a madesagir. Do you know for how long we will be prolonging it? About six seconds. That's the rule with the madde kabir, which is the big mud. Okay, this is the Madhisagir, the medium stretch uh, uh, mat, which is about from two to four seconds. Okay, so two to four seconds is this mud. And as you can see here, this is the Madhya Kabir, which is the um, extra long stretch. Okay, so this will be for about six seconds. So four to six seconds, this uh, mud and two to four seconds. Um, correctly, um, you read it correctly though. You stretch it, stretched it for about two to four seconds. Okay, now um, this is a noon mushadad. Do you know what the rule for this is? Uh, 
that you have to press hard on it. You have to press hard on it and you can um, st uh, st sit on it for about two seconds as well. So um, in. In. Very nice. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. This is the vertical fata. What do you uh, know about the vertical fata? That you prolong it for two seconds. Very nice. You know all your rules, huh? Okay. Now, um, okay. With the vakf here, the, um, the last letter before the vakf has a uh, kasra. <clears throat> so uh, we will be changing it to a? Sakun. Sakun sign. Well done. So um, whenever there is a fata kasra and ozama on a letter which um, has a... Um, a um, vakf, a stop um, just after it, then it will be changed into a sakun sign. And with this part, <clears throat> there is a uh, yamadhe. So usually it's stretched for two seconds, but because um, straight after we have a vakf here, uh, we can actually uh, prolong it for two, four, or six seconds. Very nicely read, um, G2131. Jazakumullah and Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, so um, it's time to summarize our lesson for today. Um, today we um, read Surah Fatiha, we recited Surah Fatiha, um, and we recited verse 7, which is the last verse of Surah Fatiha. Remember that after finishing um, the seventh verse, we have to say Amin. So we have to remember this um, this part that um, after waladalin we will say ami, okay, and then we uh, practiced our hard words today. Today it was it was these three words, uh, words. and <clears throat> today we started our um, surah al inshiqaq from the beginning, which is chapter eighty four in the Holy Quran. And we recited up to verse seven. We, fin we finished verse seven today. Um, and um, we, um, I told you about um, a bit about the prostration, prayer of the love prostration, um, which is, there is a prostration in this surah on verse 22. And um, I told you about a bit about that as well. Um, now, I will um, give you the homework for today, which is practice Surah Al-Fatiha from, from verse 1 to 7. So the whole of Surah Al-Fatiha. And um, practice Surah Al-Inshiqaq from verse 1 to 7. Um, that is uh, up to where we got to today. So including verse 7. Okay. And it's optional. Uh, for the Hifzul Quran unit. If you have memorized Surah al qasr make sure that you read it from memory at least once every day to someone or record it for your, um, uh, yourself on the phone and listen back to it, okay? And uh, make sure to practice the hard words as well, okay? So um, we are proceeding towards the end of our class. And if I could have a student to the mic for our ending prayer, please. G2135, please unmute yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, G2, uh, G1, G2135. Are you G2135? Yes. Okay. How are you today? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Um, let's start with thousand tasmiya. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Allahumma arhamni. Allahumma arhamni. Bil Quran al Azim. Bil Quran al Azim. Very nicely read. Um, could you read the translation? Yes. Uh, Allah have mercy on me through the Quran the Great. 
Very nice, Lirad. Jazakum Allahji 2135. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, so this was um, our class, uh, or Monday's class, and Jazakum Allah for attending. Um, Allah Hafiz.